Welcome back and good morning if you're just joining us. We have a live look right now over New Orleans, Louisiana. These are traffic cams showing a few people still trying to get out ahead of Hurricane Ida's arrival. Local officials have been warning people for days not to wait, but you can see plenty of people did. Ida is expected to roar on shore as a Category 4 storm. And Larry, you just hate to think about all these people potentially going through this a second time. It really is. A, it's, it's almost I mean, the irony of this. Yeah. Is, is this a dream for those people? I mean, right. I think that, uh, and you know, it's been 16 years, so a lot of folks have had a chance to um, not totally forget about it. younger people who right. have be become adults. Yeah, they remembered it, but now reality strikes. Right. And th this, this right here, this picture, what we've done is we put the radar on top of the satellite, just dramatically show you what's going on. Is the, you know, it's the rain, it's the wind, it's the storm surge. There's so many factors combined together to make this catastrophic de devastation to much of Louisiana. Uh, ironically, I was here 16 years ago talking about Katrina. Here we are again talking about Ida. There's New Orleans right there, and you can see kind of warbling. Uh, landfall maybe in these one of these barrier islands right here. That means there will be totally, some can even disappear in the storms like this. We saw it with, certainly saw it with Katrina. Uh, that's home of Louisiana right there. So maybe uh, headed right there. Landfall maybe a bit south of there. There's Lake Charles, Louisiana. Obviously, New Orleans right there. Flood potential, you know, we think about what happened, uh, all the flooding, the devastating flooding there and, uh, in New Orleans. Uh, category 4 hurricane, which this is now, that's winds 130 to 156 miles per hour. A Category 5 at 157. Could this become a Category 5? Uh, potential is there. Category 4, yeah, that's bad enough right there. Winds 145, moving northwest at 15 miles per hour. Current position, uh, 80 miles, approximately 80 miles south, southeast of Grand Isle and on a beeline for somewhere in that area possibly. We have, you can see the New Orleans area, Greater New Orleans area, that is all hurricane warnings. And you go uh, east, uh, north, and then west of there, northwest of that is tropical storm warnings with tropical storm force winds expected there. When you look at the scale of the amount of rain, this is the other event. The flooding rains, the potential for, as you can see right in that area, that's up to 15 inches of rain. Just north of there, we're talking about anywhere from about 10 to 12 inches of rainfall expected in the storm system. Uh, the alerts that we're looking at, storm surge warning and effect from Mobile Bay, Alabama, all the way uh, even covering New Orleans. And uh, we're talking about storm surge could be anywhere from about 10, 15, even more beyond that, unfortunately. Locally, there we go, live view. That is Lake Norman, kind of quiet out there. Somebody having a good time fishing out there. Lake Norman should be a nice day for that, although this could be pretty hot. As far as our temperatures, average high this time of the year is in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, hotter than today, but it doesn't matter. It's in the mid 90s. It's hot. It's humid. More of the same on Tuesday. Wednesday, we're going to back the temperature off with a chance of rain. Notice we got a couple of days here with temperatures below average or pretty close to average. Check it out hour by hour. 9 a.m. with 78 degrees. 91 degrees at 1 p.m. 3 o'clock. It's going to be in the mid 90s, close to 90 degrees. And that's at 7 o'clock tonight under mostly clear skies, mostly hot, mostly humid, pretty muggy out there this morning. 71 at Hickory up in uh, Catawba County. Jefferson checks in at 60 degrees in the Palmetto State. Chester and Lancaster both at 70. It's 68 at Albemarle. Once again, right here in Charlotte, NC, 73 degrees. Light winds out there, so that's really not a factor. Once again, 94 degrees at 5 o'clock. We take you to around 9 o'clock tonight. The fresh air temperature, 83 degrees under mostly clear skies at that time. Check it out for today. Lenore hits about, about 92 for high temperature. Mid-90s in Maiden across the Charlotte metro area. Hot, humid. Average high anywhere from about 94 to 95 degrees. You factor in the dew point, the, hum the humidity. It's going to feel like about 99 to 100 degrees this afternoon. And then from Rock Hill to Lancaster, Monroe, Wades were out to Rockingham, North Carolina. Temperatures this afternoon. In the mid 90s, more of the same tomorrow. You got uh, plans to be off. You're going to take it. To, you're, it's going to be hot and humid. I would say stay inside if you can. Tuesday, we're at 93. And then some of the effects uh, from Ida as it moves off and is west of us. Uh, it's going to be a rainy day regardless. We're about 89 degrees. 87 on Thursday, Friday afternoon in the mid 80s. And then we're going to be in the upper 80s on Saturday. And that is your first one forecast this morning.